Well, I guess most everybody that's watching this is going to know the face in front of you, but um, <laughs> hello, Dr. Martin, and how was your afternoon? Going along very well. Good. As you know, Badarius and I are filming a podcast about pedagogy and andragogy and in the classroom and distance education, and we're going to do some candid interviews around the, the Haley Center and get people's opinions. So. Anything you want to share about your your uh, opinions on pedagogy or andragogy or distance ed or a combination thereof? Okay. Andragogy is a concept that I'm fairly familiar with <laughs> in terms of adult learning and it's, it's a pretty exciting concept. It's one that I became aware of about 20 years ago when I was the director of the Office of Continuing Studies for the School of Allied Health Professions at Medical College of Virginia. And it was an exciting concept then, and it's still an exciting concept, except the technology today has driven uh, distance education to much greater heights than andragogy, I think. Uh, I think it fills out the whole notion and concepts of andragogy much better than it did 25 years ago when there was not any real technology uh, to speak of, and we were still looking at teaching people but teaching adults in a little different way than we do from a pedagogical a model that is generally directed more towards uh, younger, younger people or children. So tell me something about um, students today as opposed to students in the past, mm -hmm. um, past I say 10 years, what are some of the changes that you've noticed as far as teaching, being able to teach them and reaching them in the classroom? Well, I think that particularly students that are distance education students and are much more uh, motivated, much more focused in terms, and older too, uh, <laughs> and much more focused in terms of, of what they want to achieve out of education. It's not necessarily the concept of uh, younger people uh, today who, and, and has been this way always, that education is one of the things that you pay for willingly and don't go to. Uh, and you do see that uh, adults, uh, young adults, middle-aged adults, older adults, it really doesn't make any difference in terms of the age anymore, but the technology really brings people together in a way in which uh, it never did or never could before because of the, uh, you know, the archiving being able to archive the streaming media where people can access the media whenever they need to access it on their schedules, not necessarily a schedule that's 8 o'clock in the morning on a Friday morning and you also have a full-time job, that doesn't work. So yeah, there's, there's been some major changes, I think, and all very good uh, over time. Now I remember, I think it may have been last year when Dr. Dew came down and we had a discussion about distance ed and PhD programs. Yes. What are your thoughts on that becoming a reality even at Auburn or a school similar to Auburn? How, how do you think that would work? Oh, I think it's coming. Uh, there's, there's no question in my mind about it. Uh, I think within three to five years you're going to see traditional institutions like Auburn University and other very traditional uh, established institutions are finding, are going to find ways to develop uh, doctoral programs that will be online and the thing that will allow us uh, to do that is the technology that's existent today and some balance between the, the technology and uh, what used to be called high touch, uh, high tech and high touch uh, I think is uh, you know bringing people together in some way that they can have a concentrated period of time to know whatever the cohort that they're in, and also to be able to uh, to further uh, develop uh, their relationships and to further mine and, de and deepen uh, the relationships with the professors and, uh, and a way in which uh, I don't think traditional education uh, traditional education allows you to do. So I think that the uh, distance education with a good combination of high touch along with the high tech is really uh, 
really the best way to learn, and it's based on the principles of adult learning or on andragogy. So I, I think we're heading in the right direction. And, I, and again, as I say, I believe that within three to five years, we're going to see, and we're already seeing some doctoral programs uh, crop up in different places that are very traditional. And five years ago, that they wouldn't even, uh, wouldn't even consider doing this. I remember a, a member of an organization called the American Board for Vocational Experts, and there are a number of people within that organization that desire and want a doctoral degree. And they're working professionals, they're uh, all very successful. Money is not an issue. Uh, the issue of access is time. And so uh, distance ed programs uh, will allow that. And again, as I say, if you can work it out where uh, you have uh, institutes like we do within the leadership and management program that bring people together and bind them in a way uh, in a cohort, I think that's I think that's actually much stronger than people coming in on a semester by semester basis and not really having uh, that identity of a, of a group. So I, I feel very confident uh, that things are going in the right direction. Okay.